guys i hope you're doing well welcome to big sister guys i am taking a little drive been doing some running around actually and um just wanted to get on here and talk with you all about how dangerous a liars can be i may have done a video like this in the past and i wanted to really talk about that um because i've seen the damage that it can do firsthand and uh, also my own experiences with people who lie it's just so weird first of all if you're dating someone who lies it is i did a video of how important it is to pull yourself away from them because when you're with a person who lies a lot it's going to change you and the reason why it's going to change you is because you're actually the one you just don't know when they're telling the truth they tell you something now then they'll change it the next day then they'll say they never said it then they'll turn in said you're the one that said it and when you're living that way with a person who lies it is just going to change you emotionally and mentally it's going to break you down you're not going to be at peace with this person and so the few times that they may be telling the truth you're still going to be suspicious and then they're going to capitalize on that and say oh see i've always been telling the truth when in fact that is not the fact but being with a liar changes you okay there's no point in having arguments with a person who tells lies why you're not telling the truth or lecturing them about why it's important to tell the truth they know it's important to tell the truth they know that it's not right they know what they're doing is not right that's why they hide it that's why they deceive okay but i also believe depending on how long they've been doing this stuff especially if they're just veterans to lying I feel sometimes they are sick. They're sick in the mind. I think they start to believe their lies. They lie so much, they start to believe their lies, but they know they're lying because they're actively lying and actively trying to cover it up and deceive. And it is the most annoying thing when you're trying to get a person to tell the truth. Worse than that, guys, and it's something that I've seen in a recent situation, it didn't happen to me, but it did happen to someone very close to me where this person that they thought was a friend was lying so much, just lying and lying and making things up about them. But at the same time, they, when this person tries, have caught them in lies before and just totally just cut them off. And this person was just trying so hard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just begging and begging and begging and begging. Right. And then the person gives them a chance and like, look, keep lying. We can't, we can't hang out, okay? So allow them back around again. And then the person starts lying again. Situation, lie, tell somebody, get another person involved, all this stuff. It's a lie. They know they've lied. This has gone to other people, all right? But the whole time, they're not saying anything because they don't realize that the person they have lied on is aware of what they've done and that they have doubled down on the lie to this, these individuals. And, but in the meantime, they are still reaching out to them. Are you okay? Oh, what, what's happening? What's going on? Still trying to do the regular activities like they normally do and just acting as if they have no clue what's going on. And so the person just eventually broke off all communication with them. Okay. And it was like a sad situation. I know they were upset. We spoke. I just gave them encouragement and just told them to think about the long run. Okay, because they're fairly, fairly young. They are young. It's not even fairly. They are a young, young individual. So I'm like, look, lying, liars are extremely dangerous. Okay, if you think about the times that we're living in right now, depending on where you are in society, I mean, people are being canceled. People are being losing their jobs. People are losing their freedom. People are losing their reputation behind liars. 
So when you meet these type of individuals, when you identify someone and you don't know who's a liar because you're going to catch them in lies. You're going to see that they lied. They would have lied to you. Don't try to understand them. Don't try to figure them out. Don't continue giving them second and third and fourth and fifth chances. Don't try to remain in relationships with them. Don't try to continue doing business with them. Don't continue to do those things. A lot of times what happens when you're around these type of individuals or we've been around them, your, your conscience, I guess, and your, if you're a person, you're, you just the overall, your person you care about individuals, you're going to find yourself making poor decisions. And the way you're going to do that is you're going, despite what you see, despite the red flags, despite your intuition, all that, you're going to ignore it. And you're going to think that there's some good in these individuals and that they just need a chance. And especially when, and especially when, if they're the type who lie and then they cry, the type who lie and they have this sob story about their childhood and who hurt them and who wasn't around and what parent did this and that to them. You know, I'm not going to negate anyone's past and their hurt and their pains. I'm not saying those things are not valid. But what is not okay and what we should not entertain is, is, is allowing those things from their past to be the crutch as well as the sword that they use against other people. Liars are destructive individuals. And all it takes is just the movement of those two uh, meaty bits on their faces and that tongue to just change your whole life. You know, people can lie regardless of whatever. But you know what? Let me tell you that what can really give them more, what can really cause them to do more damage is access. Giving them access to your social circles Give them access to your family, your husbands, your wife. Give them access to your business, to your employees. Giving them access and telling them where you are and what you're trying to do next. Giving them access to your, your hopes and your dreams and your goals. You do these types of things, they can cut you off before you get there. You're trying to get a house. You're, you're about to get a promotion. You don't share those type of things with a person who lies. They can change your whole life. You don't invite them over to your house. You don't invite them to your engagement party. You don't invite a lie to your wedding because they'll sit there at your wedding and start spreading lies. You don't invite them over for the weekend. They just need two hours to ruin your life. Don't let them in. And the way they lie is always by, it could be by outright lying or by omission okay they tell part of the story don't allow them to be in your life either be them around you because you know what when a person lies up to you all the time you always have to be trying to figure out if they're telling the truth it's going to change you so much you're going to become timid you're going to become paranoid you're going to it really does something to you and it's going to affect your quality of life there's nothing worse than being with a liar, in my opinion. And, you know, if their phone rings, you're paranoid. If they walk out the door, you're paranoid. If they, if they say they're, they introduce you to somebody, you have to wonder if this is truly what they're saying. If you bring them around other people, you have to be careful because you don't want to make them mad. So then it will cause them to start lying. There's a lot more. What you have to also understand about people who lie, there's, a, there's more, they have more dark, sinister parts to themselves that lying is an aspect of them but there's more there's more to them you're just seeing one part of them one aspect but if you keep them around you long enough you're going to see how destructive they really can be it is not your job it is not our job to sympathize with liars it is not our job to try to figure them out it is not our job to understand what they have gone through they need to take accountability and be responsible for their actions. And if you walk away from them, you don't need to 
you don't need to feel bad about it. If you minimize the amount of time that you spent with them, you're, you don't have to feel bad about that. If you set boundaries, you don't have to feel bad about that. If you just up and move to a different state, move to a different country and didn't tell them anything, there's nothing wrong with that. You got up in the middle of the night and you just coasted out the drive through put the car in neutral and just coasted out quietly and coasted down the hill and started the engine at the very end of the block and just took off forever. There's nothing wrong with that. Liars are destructive individuals. Something has happened to them in their lives and sometimes nothing happened to them. They just like attention, but they're dangerous. They're destructive. And for that very reason, you should not be around them. Listen enough, you figure out who the liars are. And when you find out who they are, you don't need to confront them because they're going to lie about that too. But slowly back away. Some of them you could just close the door because you were never that close to them to begin with. But don't give them anything. Give them nothing. And to keep such distance with them that when they're even trying to tell lies about you, other people would be like, but they're never around you. What are you talking about? And remember also, liars, you're probably not the only person that they're lying on or have lied on. So there may be people who are really ticked off or really have a thing against them. And you don't want to be caught in the crosshairs because liars are eventually going to going to face some sort of destruction in some way. And if you're hanging with them and you're being around them, you could end up being the one who gets hurt or even loses your life. Because what was meant for them, you were there and you're the one that ends up dying or you're the one who ends up being in some mess because you're hanging with them or you end up being destroyed and even lose your life right alongside them because you were hanging with a person who had been causing trouble and chaos in other people's lives and these individuals whoever they hurt decide they're going to get revenge or they're going to destroy them or whatever they're going to do they're going to get them back and because you were hanging with them or you were still in a relationship with them you are also a part of, you're basically collateral damage. You basically become a casualty of their own folly. Separate yourself from liars. They're different types, but liars nonetheless. The very first time you find out someone is lying, be aware, pay attention. Sometimes, there are reasons of something very small and you can work through it depends you know maybe a person didn't want to tell you that they their their dad was in jail or or something they just felt embarrassed okay but still make a note of that but then you have other people who they lie for fun they lie as often as they breathe and those type of people are extremely dangerous cut them off set them loose you do not need to know what happened or hear because even that conversation that you have with them can turn into something don't have any conversation don't text liars just don't have any sort of communication with them just don't do it because they will destroy you and they will wreck you and they will cry they will cry boohoo tears because at that moment, they begin to believe their lies. And that's one of the most dangerous individuals to be around. All right, guys. Peace.